Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah ma ba'd. Benefit number 25 taken from Jalal al-Fahm written by Ibn al-Qayyim where he was talking about the virtues and the merits of sending peace and blessings upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the best of all creation. He says al-Khamis wa al-Ishroon benefit number 25. Annaha tarmi sahibuha ala tariq al-Jannah wa tukhti bitarikiha wa tukhti bitarikiha an tariqiha. When the person sends peace and blessings upon the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam now before we mention this point uh, the evidences for this point have been previously mentioned. We don't want to re-repeat the evidences. Uh, the purpose of this series is that we try and keep it as short as possible, the clips. Uh, I know some of them are quite long. But um, the evidences for this have been mentioned. He is saying here, benefit number 25, when the person sends peace and blessings upon the Messenger of Allah, he is on the path to Jannah. And when a person doesn't, there is a danger that he is not on the path to Jannah. Now, where have we seen this before? The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, whoever sends peace and blessings upon me, uh, certain times they will get his intercession, they will be close to him, Yawm al Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala mentions them. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala rewards them for each one ten times. The people who remember Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and included in that is making dua for the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will not have any kind of regret on the Day of Judgment. So what the author is saying here, benefit number 25, when you send peace and blessings upon him, this is a sign that you are on the path to Jannah. But like we have said previously, it is more than just lip service. There has to be certain conditions that are in place in order for your dua and your dhikr to be accepted. And from them is that the person is sincere. From them the person is following the Messenger of Allah and doing what he has told us to do, staying away from what he has told us to stay away from, making sure... There are things that are halal in his life and removing anything which is haram. These are from the conditions. Having good thoughts of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not being hasty. These are from the conditions of dua being accepted, being certain of a response from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what the author is saying here. If all of these are found in a person, his dua and his dhikr will be a means for him, inshallah, to enter into Jannah. That person is on the path to Jannah. But if a person doesn't, it is feared for that person that by him leaving what he should be doing, he is not on the path of Jannah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he makes us firm upon the Siratul Mustaqeen for us and our loved ones.